Businesses in the triangle are cashing in on the Pokemon Go craze. Shops, restaurants, even museums are finding ways to get more people in their doors by attracting trainers that eventually turn into customers. Carly Griffith has the details on the latest shop to do so. There you go. It's a good boy. It was an afternoon of puppies and Pokemon at Pet Supplies Plus in Raleigh. I thought it would be a good way to maybe bring in some new customers and get, you know, a group of people together that had similar interests and have a good time. Everyone played Pokemon coming up. We watched the TV shows and we all wanted to catch Pokemon. So like now we kind of have an opportunity to actually do so. The pet store, like so many other businesses, is capitalizing on those trying to catch them all. Our employees used lures at the Pokestops around here to help get more Pokemon in the area so that players catch some more and help up the stakes a little bit. Transferring all these magic cards. Right here, it's known for like magic cards and occasionally Dratinis, which is, you know, good Pokemon to find. We were really intense. Yeah, and we would like, we started running. We sprint, screamed in Trader Joe's because we got max. We ran out of Pokeballs. We were trying to catch a rare one. The event brought in about 20 people. Yeah, wearing a Trimander shirt. Most of them new to the store. And several of the prizes given away to the top Pokemon trainers will ensure some return customers. Uh, yeah, $20. For your dog. For my dog. I'd more likely come back for the Pokemon that spawned, but uh, if I do get a pet, I'll, I'll definitely come to this one. I appreciate them. Business just to advertise Pokemon Go, just to like have people just to come. You know, it's good for business and good for like, you know, us players too. In Raleigh, Carly Griffith, CBS, North Carolina.